Yeah, what I'm going to do is show you how to fix up a tin toy. Now, the main were out, but I've uh, straightened them up, this plate up a little bit. It was crooked, and I pulled these tabs out. So I've done a little bit, but not much. Now, in the first uh, video I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you me denting these out. So you're going to see that, hammering these wings out where there was a dent down in here deep. And now they need a little filling and grinding to make them right. What I'm going to do is, there's some, one hub missing off the wheel, I'm not too sure how to do that yet. And I have the bumpers, I don't have a windshield, so I'm going to have to make a windshield. So it has a dent up in here, and here, and I'm just hammering it out slightly. But I just want to show you how to, you know, repair a tin toy. A flat screwdriver is really good for getting these little pieces straight here and getting your tab straightened out again. And you know, I've got some crookedness here on these tin pieces here and I just press them and try to straighten them a little. You know, tin is um, pliable but you have to be just nice to it. There you go. See, and we're getting a little bit of shape here and you know, I got some marks in here. This was really bang quite well in. So let's show you. I'll take, see this round top here and put it on in, in the curve here. And what we'll do is we'll just tap very lightly. Try to bring this back into shape, right? Slowly but surely. On the back end, I'm doing the same here. Put it up in that corner there. And try to get that one. Can you see that there on the? And I prefer using this hammer, but it's the one that fits in at the moment, so I'm using it underneath here. I'm also using a back end of a wrench because it's got this curve, and I'm just tapping down on this trying to get this shape. As you can see, it's beginning to shape up quite nicely. You know, I played, bent this out a little with the pliers and that, so we're beginning to get our shape. Missing a light. I have a little bit of indentation right in here. I'm trying to push that out. So I'm going to do this the other way around and go in here and touch this with the back of the... back of the um, adjustable wrench. I'm getting the shape I'm on here now. As you can see it's beginning to look right where you can fill it in the very end. I'm going to give it a little file and see whether I like it or not, you know? You could use a Dremel as well, but... So I just put out the uh, black JP weld, and now I'm putting out the white. You mix them equal was not punctured yet. There we go. Fairly equal. You want to watch you don't get too white because then it won't harden. Should turn out kind of a grayish. 
always. When you know it's kind of this dark gray, you know you're okay, right? Okay, we'll just put it on the car here. Yeah. Okay, let's put it on the car. Yeah. Quite a bit extra here. It's just like car filler, really. We'll do the front, we'll let her dry. Most likely can't come back to this till tomorrow sometime. So I'm going to leave this dry for 24 or 48 hours. So tomorrow I'll clean her up. And most likely we'll have to give it another little bit of um, JB Weld and wet and dry sand it so it's really smooth. But we're getting there. I gotta see if the men are in correctly and look up whether I've done the right things here. Keep it genuine. The car does run. A little loose here, but we'll fix that. Tabs have come off. Then we'll fix it all up and see how it goes. <laughs>